Hi, welcome to How to Electronics. In this tutorial, we'll have an overview of NFC board called Madinui Zero NFC board. This board is an IoT solution based on 32-bit 8ML microcontroller called SAMD21. It uses an NFC chip called PN532, which is built by NXP Semiconductor. The customized board can be used for payment application, entrance system, and security system project. If you don't know about the NFC, then it is basically a near-field communication, which is a set of communication protocol that enables the communication between two electronics devices over a distance of 4 cm or less. This guide helps you with the basic use of Madino Zero NFC along with the hardware overview and programming. In the hardware part, we will see how is this board design and in the software part, we will see how we can set up this board with the Arduino IDE. Later, we will read the data from various NFC cards. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the service of Next PCB. You can select the board size, any shoulder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the PCB thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for so more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com. Then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your gutter file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is a complete package that is received a couple of days ago. This is the main board called as Madino Zero NFC board. This board will be the bridge that helps you wirelessly interact with your environment, drive motors, control relays and read from a temperature sensor. This is because it has built-in NFC connectivity right out of the box. As you can see at the center, it has an NFC chip called PN532. The PN532 is a highly integrated trans receiver module for contactless communication at 13.56 MHz based on the 8051 microcontroller core with 40 KB of ROM and 1 KB of RAM. It is used to emulate ISO. 1443 cards. The ISO or IEC 14443 series of standard describes the parameters for identification cards or object for international interchange. This is a 32-bit microcontroller from 8mil called as ATSAMD21 microcontroller also called as Arduino Zero board. It has a native USB port. We'll program this using the Arduino IDE. At the back side of the board, there is an SD card slot for using the device as a data logger. This is a battery connector slot where you can connect a lithium ion battery. And there is a charging slot for charging the battery. A micro USB cable is used to program or power the device. This reset button will reset the microcontroller. And this can be slided to turn on or off. You can also connect an antenna here. A dedicated antenna for this module is available with a UFL connector. So, connect the antenna to the board after receiving this module. Like the Arduino board, it also has input output pins on both sides. Male headers can be soldered on both sides to connect any external sensors or modules. There is also a 4 pin slot to connect a female header. Here you can connect an OLED display. So take a 0.96 inch OLED display and simply connect it to the board. Now your board is ready and you can start programming and testing. To test this board, we use NFC card. You can use any travel card like metro card or a bus card or maybe your ATM cards. In order to purchase this complete package, visit makerfabs.com and you can get this board at $24.8 only. The purchase links for this board is given in the description. Now let's move to the coding part. First we need to install the board package. To do that go to the board manager and search for Arduino Zero board. So here is a list of Arduino SAMD board. Install the board packages. After that 
Go to the tools and select Arduino Zero board from the list with native USB port. Select the COM board as well. The red LED on the board glows indicating the board is powered on. Similarly, you can slide the switch to turn on the board. Here is a sample code for the board. It uses both I2C and SPI libraries. The PN532 library from Adafruit can be downloaded. Similarly, these two libraries are for OLED display. We define the SS, IRQ and reset pins here. These are OLED parameters like width, height and I2C address. Then we create instances for PN532 and OLED display. Under the setup function, we initialize LED, serial begin and also the USB communication. We display the firmware version number on OLED and serial monitor. In the loop section, we define the ISO 1443A card length which is 47 bytes. Then we print the UID length and also the UID number. Now you can upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, the OLED will display the firmware version which is 1.6 currently and then it will ask to swap or scan the NFC card. Now you can bring the NFC card near the antenna. So the UID length is 4 bytes and the UID number is in hex format which is displayed as well. Now you can scan your travel card as well which in my case is 7 bytes. So this is how you can read the UID number of various NFIC card and store them for multipurpose applications. To learn more about this board, you can visit How to Electronics website article. The board details and the library along with the source code can be found here. I hope you like this video very much. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos.